YouTube, what's going on? It's King Pavo back. And I've been making some progress and it's been a couple of weeks, I think, since I've done a video. So I figured I would do something pretty quick because I want to keep grinding and making progress on Legend Bowl. So all pro football, I've taken a pause on that. I've done a couple of little updates and I've turned my attention to my main project that I've you know put aside for way too long. Um, but APFE still around, still here, still supporting it. Discord server, get on it if you haven't. But this video is about the Legend Bowl updates that I've been doing so far. So I wanted to give you guys an update, give you some background, let you know, you know where I stand and give you an idea of what's been, you know, what's kind of, uh, what's commenced since the last major videos with uh, Legend Bowl and give you kind of a state of the union of where I am with the, you know, with the series. So, like I said, I'm back on it. I've been working on it uh, full time, nonstop for the past couple of weeks. I have had obviously holidays and uh, vacationing and things with family coming into town. So it's been quite a you know busy, hectic end of year, beginning of year. But um, over the last few weeks, I've been working on the game and really. My developer that I was uh, working with, uh, that was working for me, I guess, last time, he, he, he pretty much bailed on me. So I was left with a project that was way over-engineered, had too much um, overhead, and there were so many things that he had created that, that were just, like I said, just too much. And so I've totally changed my approach to how I'm making this game. I'm still using Game Maker Studio 2, and if you guys are looking to make games, it's a very easy to use tool. I mean, it's a coding language. You need to learn the, the language just like anything else. It's called GML, but basically you, you can do a lot with it and you can prototype pretty quickly without having to worry about spending too much time setting things up. You know, with something like Unity or Unreal Engine, there's a lot you have to do just to get something on the screen. And this is a lot quicker, simpler, lighter. And uh, But it's not perfect. It has its drawbacks. And so, anyways, I'm using a system called True State. And that's the foundation of what my state machine is going to look like inside of the Legend Bowl uh, framework, right? So what I've done is I've completely torn down, I started a brand new project, took all the sprites from my old project, which I'm still continuing to import, and I'm rebuilding all my phases, the kickoff, all that stuff, the coin toss from scratch. And what I'm trying to do is make it so much more simple and easy to follow but also give me the flexibility to be able to do you know the complicated things that are going to be uh, that are going to come down the road with a game as complex as football right so I want to show you guys where I'm at you know I was working on prototyping the throwing and uh, the receiving and I'm basically doing all this like I said, from scratch, all the way from the beginning, starting over. And um, I'm working on the phases right now, which I'm not going to show you that in this video. So I've dumbed it down to where I had some of the things running around and a little bit of a basic offensive line and defensive line interactions. But this video really is to just give you guys an update, let you know what I've been working on. I know it's been a while since I've done a video and um, there'll be a lot more to come with Legend Bowl for sure. APFE stuff will be sprinkled in here and there, but this is my project. This is what I'm gonna try to, to finish. This is my goal and I'm gonna complete it. So hang on for the ride and, and stay tuned. But let's go ahead and start just a very basic thing. And I've been putting out 
you know, content, sharing some of this stuff with you guys. But this is the offensive line right now. As you can see, it's very, um, it's very simple. And the way the guys are moving around, like they, they, they basically are trying to protect the quarterback, right? But as you can see, there's some physics issues here, some jittering happening, that shaking that I'm going to have to clean up. But the idea, the idea is to, remember, the idea is going to be to get the gameplay on the field to happen. Because in the previous version, I had some gameplay, but it was nowhere near the real thing. I had no line interactions. The catching was basic. I couldn't really do a lot. And if you look at the way it is now, I mean, I can I can jump and catch the ball like you saw there. I can dive and catch the ball like you saw there. The animations aren't all set up, but there are things that you can do and I can take off and, and run as the you know quarterback. I can do a hurdle, I can dive, I can jump, which really shouldn't happen. That's just here right now for the demo. But it's the movement, hold on to the thing. The movement has been totally revamped so as you can see if I run around with the quarterback and don't mind the offensive line defensive line but if I run around you can see if I go from one side to the other he doesn't just turn on a dime he, t he has a little bit of momentum right so I have a physics system that is in here now that you know it allows you to have a little bit of you know um, realism right and momentum and so when you see the players running around, depending on their, their agility, their speed, their acceleration, their weight, all that stuff is going to take into account how quickly they can turn on a dime, right? And, you know, the game is a four-directional game, north, east, you know, west, south. But I like the way it feels right now. This, this feeling feels pretty nice. Um, but... There's a lot that's been done, I guess is my point, and I'm doing it all over again. So I hope you guys like the way it looks. I mean, I, I think it's coming along. It's it's definitely moving forward. I'm making a lot quicker progress than I did before, believe it or not. And I've learned a lot. It just goes to show that once you start using something for a while, you learn a lot. And when I first came back to Game Maker Studio, it took a little bit of time for me to get comfortable with the that's an interception right there and I'm controlling both guys right now because that's just the way my my controller set up but um, you know it takes some time to get the rust off but once you're back in I feel like I can do so much more and um, and so I'm really excited to get this project rolling QJB did a nice video on it and I appreciate him shout out to him if you guys don't watch QJB he's very entertaining and um, he's one of the prominent most uh, visible guys out there that play sports games and he does everything he does tech mobile and he plays madden nba 2k mlb the show i mean he's all over the place he even does like mobile games but he took an interest in this game and uh and i'm excited to bring more content through his channel so keep keep an eye out for him stay tuned for him he's a cool cat and uh and i'm you know i'm happy to 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 share my progress with you know with him also um as you can see the defender is following the um the receiver right so i have physics in here i have artificial intelligence that says when the guy has the ball go after him if he's your target stay with him right so like right now he's following him and there's going to need to be obviously more ai to to make the defender smarter so that he can jump and intercept the ball or block the ball and and um, so there's a lot but it's really cool because the way the code set up is it's set up where the AI okay the logic for the artificial intelligence the NPCs they call them the non you know the CPU players they're all based on button um, you know button presses right so if I want the defender in a script, in an AI script, to jump, I'm going to tell the script to push the Y button, if that's the jump button, right? Push the Y button, and the Y button will do the same thing for the AI that it will do for me as the user, right? 
So there's no real cheating. There's no way that the AI can do magical things that the user can't do. And that's the way that this new True State Foundation that is, um, is in this game now, in my engine, is going to work. It's going to work where the CPU and the, um, and the, the user have the same exact control. So when you're pressing the buttons on your user control, you're going to get the same thing, the same thing for the CPU, right? And um, so the game's really coming along. I got the football, I got the ball physics in right now. Right now he's throwing at the same angle every time, but that's going to change. You know, it's going to throw it higher or lower depending on how hard you hold it or if you tap it, just like the other games. Um, so I'm really excited because there's a lot to come and there's going to be little videos like this. I don't want to spend a lot of time on making these crazy, you know, high production edited videos. I need to get to work. I need to get this game out. And so they're going to be more like this, just simple demo type updates on where I'm at, show you some of the functionality and you know get you you guys at least information as i'm building it but it's coming along and i want you guys to um check out qjb i'm sure you guys do already if you know about him and uh, he'll be doing more videos down the road as well and i'll be doing additional content but hit me up in the comments let me know what you think about it let me know if you think it looks good um one of the things that i'm gonna be doing at some point once i get once I get the gameplay at least at a basic level where I can actually play a football game and score a touchdown and get first downs and there's turnovers and kickoff and all that stuff, once that basic gameplay is in the system, then the plan is going to be to add the new uh, customizations. So you can have different uniforms, different helmets, different player faces, their gear. That's going to come in next. And then after that is going to be the polish. Putting the polish on the game. Improving the AI so the players can move and react smarter, right? So all that stuff is coming. That's the timeline. It's going to be uh, quite some time before I get to um, even, though, even through those stages. But that's my plan. That's the, the approach I'm taking. And if you guys, uh, you know, watch, stay tuned, <laughs> check it out. But this is the update. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be on here in the future with more updates. So keep an eye out. Legend Bowl is coming and get ready. Later. <laughs>